this is your Maryville women's soccer team. I'm not going to introduce this all because that's going to take way too long, but I wouldn't be anywhere without my girls. There was 11 freshmen that came in alongside me and were all still standing. As a team, we had a great season, the best yet in Maryville history. We made it all the way to the Great Lakes Valley Conference Championship game and the feeling was indescribable. <laughs> Throughout our season, there was many ups and downs, but all we could do was try to be better. And next season, our motto will still be the same, that we're all in. <laughs> Success does not come easy. We put many hours into the gym, into ball work, and into weight training, all to get where we want to be for the next fall. Throughout our season, we kill our bodies, we push into the limits, and then you gotta recover. So a lot of our time is in ice baths with our legs up and just relaxing. Worst decision of my life. <laughs> and if we're not playing soccer or sleeping, we're probably eating. Yeah. All right, got one. Ranking at state, two really? points away from a perfect score. Oh, <laughs> As an athlete, balancing school, soccer, and a social life can be nearly impossible. There were a lot of tears shed, but I think that we all made it through. As a team, we want to give back. So every Saturday morning, we had a home game. We were up early in the morning to go see the kids at Spinza. Now let's get to what you guys really want to know. What happens behind the closed doors of the soccer team? Sliding <laughs> down the block just to watch what I got. Fergalicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, hot. Fergalicious. <laughs> I'm with the boys on my run. Oh, <laughs> 